So I'm sure you probably want some context as to what this whole operation is. Basically, I first saw about this post on Reddit five years ago. It says, you and a super intelligent snail both get one million dollars, and you both become immortal. However, you die if the snail touches you. It always knows where you are and slowly crawls towards you. What is your plan? Now, this question became super popular on TikTok again a few, a few weeks ago, I think. And after I saw the first video about it, I couldn't help but just lie there on my bed thinking what I would do. I actually planned out an entire scenario on how would I would defeat this imaginary snail. And I thought I might as well share my wisdom. I would have done the PowerPoint presentation. But I don't have a projector. What I do have is a bunch of unused notebook papers from my old school books. I graduated, so we have a bunch of spare ones and it feels like a waste to throw it all away. So might as well use it for this in-depth research. So number one on how we are going to defeat this snail. Cement. Cement. So I'm assuming as long as the snail doesn't touch you physically at any part of your body, you're going to be safe. So I suggest using tongs to grab the snail and then putting it in a box that's already half filled with cement and then pouring more cement on it, effectively drowning it in an enclosure of cement and then we close the entire thing once more with cement. Hello, it's editing file. I forgot to say, um, we also dropped it into the Pacific Ocean right in the middle of it. Don't let PETA see this. According to Google, concrete-like projects such as sidewalks that go through more wear and tear in their lifespan usually last about 50 years. So we definitely have over 50 years since we're taking into the account the amount of time the snail needs to swim up from the deep sea. Also, the snail is definitely gonna get eaten too. That's definitely happening in the deep sea. So we also need to take account the amount of time it would take an average sea creature to digest the snail and shit it out. At this point though, the snail is probably like really pissed off. It might also be a bit traumatized, but you know, we have like 10 billion dollars, we're gonna be fine, we can afford therapy for him. Just fight for our spot in heaven after this is all over. But then begs the cynical question, what if I don't want to live forever? You know, living a few hundred years sounds dandy and all, but at some point, you're gonna wanna kick the bucket. Here is you, you're thinking about death not far off from reality i assume so you want to die you don't want to live forever therefore you want to know where the snail is at all times just in case you want to come over have a little chat with it implant the tracker on the snail you'll be able to know where it is at all times until it eventually you know runs out of battery but if that happens we can either get someone to replenish it every few years or so or we can invest in a solar powered battery we just draw the classic sun in the corner here it's got little little shades yeah i'm not sure if a solar powered battery for a tracker exists but we're rich we can pay people to invent it because that's how money works however If you really want to die, you can just like boop 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 hop on over to where the snail is and high five it really hard. Now the flaw of this idea is that this snail is super intelligent. So we don't really know what he's up to. We don't know what he's dealing with here. The concrete thing stops it through sheer force and torment. But this more ethical practice may result in the snail learning how to implant the tracker on another snail, a decoy snail, throwing us off balance and letting our guard down. So according to my thorough research, snails do not have arms. It is not a thing they have. But what our little snail friend here can do is rub itself on the rocks, removing the tracker through the grit and then setting it aside on the rope so that another snail can come across it and it will stick to that other snail's mucus 
effectively leading us with a decoy snail instead. See, I, I try to make it obvious that this was a decoy snail by giving it a bow tie and genuine joy. But then I thought that wasn't enough, so I also called it in the shell. This is a very, very well planned out research. And thus, between the option of actual physical and mental and emotional and probably spiritual torment or this more ethical yet risky practice i suggest that we do both we do both of it hello it's editing fan again i forgot the part where the snail would also get a million dollars so i reckon we just solve it right now so here's what you do about the snail's million dollars we snatch it away from it what's it going to do try to snatch it back with what limbs? The snail has a million dollars, well now I have two million. And now, my next idea. Eat the snail. Now just hear me out. What will happen if this occurs? Now see, obviously you can't eat the snail yourself, but if you were to lure an unassuming French person in, with this bad cover of the Ratatouille soundtrack And you have them consume the snail in their daily escargot What will happen? What will happen? Because you see, I thought about immortality a lot as a child With a crippling fear of death So I come to a realization that there is only two ways you can be immortal as far as my mind can come up with you have number one where you cannot die from any injuries because you'll be able to heal and recover which brings us to the first possibility reconstruction the snail will reconstruct itself it is immortal after all but the french person has to first shit out the snail for that to happen Just make this guy French real quick. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what French people look like. I've only eaten snail once, but I don't think the entire snail comes out inside the poop. I think it gets digested into tiny little bits of nutrients. Basically, it's gone. The snail is gone. It's, it's just gone. Maybe like one tiny atom of the snail will remain inside the poop, and then it will reconstruct itself from that atom like a Deadpool. I forgot what Deadpool looks like. Deadpool? But then it will have like a whole sewer system to go through, as well as eight years of therapy. The second way immortality can function is through sheer indestructibility. I wrote indestructibility. Yeah, ignore that. Uh, basically, when this happens, you cannot get hurt. There is absolutely no way of any injury ever coming to you. Except for when the snail touches you, of course. You can get hit by the metro train and you cannot die because you are Kiki Power. But however, the result of that... An extremely graphic scene of the snail chewing its way out of the French person's body. Like the scene from Aliens. It's not going to die in the stomach, the acids aren't going to hurt it, it's there forever. Just, it's just slowly chewing its way in your stomach lining, waiting for its moment of revenge. The French person's dead for sure, for sure. And the snail has gained a new fond taste for blood. So I'm not really sure if this is the outcome that we want. This doesn't really have anything to do with defeating the snail though. I'm just really curious what will happen if you eat it. With that being said, I ran out of unused notebook paper. So this is the end of the video. It's pretty quick because I'm working on a longer video later on. Oh wait, but just one more thing before you go. I love you. Bye bye.